In this part, we will prepare the camera setup. Before starting the code, make sure to install CV2 and NumPy libraries. Ok, so first we will need to import the CV2 library. Next we initiate the video capture. In brackets we add 0 plus CV2 cap D show. Most of the time your camera will be auto detected using 0, also add a direct show. Next, knowing that video is just a bunch of images or frames, we need the while loop to go through them. Let's write while true and in it underscore comma frame equal to cap dot read. So it will read all our frames. I also add one more line to rotate my video by 180 degrees. Use this line if your camera is rotated 180 degrees like mine. Ok, we have a frame. Let's show it. For that we write cv2 I'm show and in brackets we add window name, image and what we want to display it will be frame. What's left is to add a couple of lines which will help us to close the window and stop the code. We add this line to close the window when the escape button is pressed. It will break the loop. And we finish by destroying all windows. We can test the code. Ok, there are no errors and we can see the camera video. Let's move to the next part. In this part we will write a code to select a color from our frame. We also will create two more windows. One to show the color we are hovering over with our mouse pointer and another to show what color we selected. Let's start by importing the NumPy library as NP. Next, let's create our mentioned two windows, one for color search and another for color selection. We use NumPy zeros and in brackets we define shape 200 by 200 and 3 to store all three color channels. The same we do for color selected window. Ok, in the while loop we can show these two new windows using imshow method, we define window name and source as usual. Let's run the code. Ok, we have these two new windows. For now they are black. What we want is that when we hover with a mouse pointer over the color, color search window would show that color and when we select with left mouse button the selected color appears in color selected window. Let's go back to the code and implement this. We will use set mouse callback function which sets the mouse handler for the specified window. For that we need to create a named window with the same name as we used to show our frame, so it will be an image. And then we can call the function cv2.setMouseCallback. We just need to define the name of the window and the callback function for mouse events. Let's name this function select color. This function will grab the coordinates of the mouse pointer. Also we will make it run only when we press the left mouse button. Let's open OpenCV documentation. Here we can see how the mouse callback function looks like. So it's a callback function for mouse events. And it has 5 parameters, event, x and y coordinates, flags and user data. Let's check mouse event types. We will need the second one, the left mouse button is pressed. Let's go back to our code. We add parameters to our function, event, x, y, flags and param. We will be using just the first three, but the function to run needs all to be defined. Let's unpack BGR channels at the x, y coordinates of the mouse pointer to separate variables and change the color in the color search window to this color. This part will change all values to BGR. And for the next window, we use event type. If event is equal to cv2.event left button down, we change the color in color selected window to selected. Let's test it. When hovering over different colors, color search window shows that color and when we select the color, color appears in the color selected window and stays until we click on another color. Let's move to the next part. In this part, we will create a mask for the selected color. It will help us later to detect contours and count the objects. Let's go to while loop and convert frames color space from BGR to HSV. HSV equal to cv2.cvt color and in brackets we add frame cv2.color bgr to HSV. Next we need to have some freedom or range for color selection. One color objects in different lighting have different shades of color. For that we will add two lines, 
lower HSV and upper HSV. It will create NumPy arrays with our color range. We will add the range just to hue, saturation and value we will define as default values. Hue we will get from our frame and create a range by subtracting and adding 10. Saturation will have values from 50 to 255 and values from 20 to 255. You may need to adjust them depending on the lighting condition and used camera. Next, we will create a mask using the enrage function. In brackets, we add source, lower and upper boundaries. What's left is to get the hue value. Let's go to the select color function. So when we press the left mouse button, we need to grab that hue value. We write hue equal to HSV, square brackets with x and y coordinates, and another square bracket with zero index to get the hue value. We need to make this hue variable global because we need to access it outside the function. And we finish by adding the starting value of zero outside the function. Okay. Before running the code, let's add another I'm show line with our mask to see how it looks. Let's run the code. Okay, we select the color and we can see how the mask is working. It's working quite well. In this part, we will draw contours for our selected color objects. For that, we will create a new function. Let's add some space after the select color function and add the search contours function with the input mask. Contours are found using the find contours function. Let's write contours comma hierarchy equal to cv2.findContours and in brackets we add mass, contour retrieval mode and contour approximation method. Okay, next we need to draw these contours. For that let's look through them and use draw contours function. We will need to define various parameters, destination image, contour, the parameter indicating a contour to draw, we will draw all so it will be negative, the color of the contours and thickness of lines the contours are drawn with. Let's write cv2.drawContours and in brackets let's add frame, contour in square bracket we want to draw, minus 1 to draw all contours, contour color, green and contour thickness too. Let's go to the while loop and call the search contours function with the input mask. Ok, let's select blue color. Looks good. What about yellow? Here we have some artifacts. The green color also looks good. Ok, we can rid of some of the small contours by filtering contours by size. Let's go back to our function. Before drawing the contours, let's calculate the contour area and assign it to the area variable. After that, let's add an if statement with area boundaries 210,000 and indent the draw contours function. Ok, now there are no small contours, but we still have some flickering because we have some shadows. We will adjust color detection in the last part. We have contours, let's count them. First, we will need a font. Let's add it in the beginning of the code. We will be using Hershey simplex. Next, in the search contours function, let's add contours count starting value 0 and an incrementation by 1. We finish by returning the contour count. So when we call the function, we will get the count. Let's assign count to the function. Ok, what's left is to put text on the frame. I will use pink color. Let's run the code and see the result. Ok, we have 2 red objects, 4 green, 2 yellow and 3 blue. In this part we will calculate and show centroids for detected color objects. Let's move to the search counter function. We will find centroids by calculating the moments. The moment is a particular weighted average of image pixel intensities. Centroid coordinates Cx and Cy we get by converting image to binary format. And to prevent error of floating division by zero, we add the if else statement. We finish by adding the white circle to centroid coordinates and adding the counter count number of set by 25 pixels to the left and up. Let's see. Ok, it counts. 
is time to solve a problem with color detection. In the mask part, we created a mask for the selected color. We added some range to the hue value. Let's make it more flexible using the trackbars. First, we need to create a named window. Let's give it the name trackbars. Next, let's resize it to 400 pixels in width and 80 pixels in height. Now we can create trackbars. We will create two trackbars to control the hue range from the detected color. Let's name the first one lower hue, define trackbars window, value which reflects the position of the slider, the minimal position is always zero, maximum position and a function. The second trackbar let's name upper hue with the same parameters. Let's move up and create an empty function nothing with parameter x, so it will do nothing just pass. Let's comment mask window and run the code to see if the trackbar is visible. Ok, sliders work fine. We need to connect the slider to the value. So we need to change these values. First, we need trackbar sliders positions. For that, we use the getTrackbarPose function. We need to define the name of the trackbar and the name of the window that is the parent of the trackbar. So these two variables will hold the range of how much we want to lower hue and how much to increase hue. Next, we need to calculate the actual lower hue and upper hue values. Here we will use the if statement to stain the hue value interval from 0 to 179. And what's left is to assign these values to lower HSV and upper HSV. Let's run the code. Let's try the blue color. It doesn't detect at all. Let's adjust the hue lower and upper values. Ok, it looks good. Now let's try the other colors. Ok, we need to adjust again. Looks like now it works with all the colors. Let's add these values to trackbar starting values, 14 and 20. Ok, there is still some bad detection. Let's adjust again. Now it looks good. Let's change 20 to 18 and run it the last time. Everything looks good. Hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. You will find the code in the video description. If you liked this video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more Python videos.